Hello. I am the coordinator for the 11th edition of the Atlantic Dialogues Conference, which will be happening in Marrakesh, Morocco, from December 14th to 16th. I am very pleased to welcome here today Mr. Karim Leinaoui, Executive President at the Policy Center for the New South and Dean of the Social Sciences, Economics and Humanities Cluster at the Mohammed VI Polytechnic University here in Rabat. Today, we are at the Policy Center for the New South to delve a little bit more into what the Atlantic Dialogues Conference is. The Atlantic Dialogues Conference is the Policy Center for the New South's flagship conference that brings together over 400 high-level senior officials, business leaders, academics, opinion shapers, and civil society actors from around the Atlantic every year to engage in stimulating conversations and rebalance the dialogues. We have now reached a significant milestone as the conference has been running for over a decade. My question to you is, what was the initial vision when the Atlantic Dialogues Conference was launched in 2012 and has this vision changed? I think the, uh, the vision is the same and I will explain uh, it a little bit more. Uh, but we have to initially recognize that this conference and its intuition and uh, this idea of a wider Atlantic dimension was uh, uh, initially uh, started by, uh, by others and, uh, um, and then took, take, taken over by the Policy Center for the New South. The spirit remains the same, which is to rebalance the North-South uh, uh, dimension of the Atlantic and to have a broader perspective uh, with respect to the uh, to what is the Atlantic, you know, moving down south, um, um, the, the relation which has been you know historically a more a northern uh, transatlantic relation. So I think we've stick to this initial vision and we've dip deepened it. We've built a community. Uh, I think it has also shaped the, the the research program of the policy center as well. Um, and, you know, in doing, doing so, we've created a community, we created a, a sort of a researchers, think tankers and policy makers passionate about the, uh, about the Atlantic and what it can bring to its citizens uh, around the four continents. Absolutely. Um, this notion of community is very important. Um, and as you said, over the years, the Atlantic Dialogues has become a space where we were able to build a community with several guests coming back every year to take part in, this, uh, in these conversations and contribute to rebalancing the conversations and bridging the North-South divide. Um, how does the notion of community, um, how is it a notion that is important for the Policy Center um, in terms of the general work that we're doing? First, for the conference itself, uh, any of our colleagues and friends that have came participate to the Atlantic Dialogue can feel it. Uh, it's a very special conference. It has a sort of uh, spirit that can uh, can be uh, can only be felt and not described, uh, which is, I think, uh, a success of this conference that we have reached after you know, a couple of years. These things do not come uh, in a in a in a vacuum or instantly. So it's the contribution of all all those participants, and I think we're talking about thousands of people that have. Uh, not participated to the Atlantic Dialogue and who have sort of uh, have been inspired, have uh, ingested in a, in a way the, uh, the, the, the spirit. The format of the Atlantic Dialogues enables frank conversations, it, em it enables friendly confrontations as well, um, and it, it provides the space to challenge uh, dominant narratives and views, which is something that we try to do at the Policy Center as well, um, in terms of challenging these narratives and presenting new perspectives in terms of, uh, of, of challenges in the Atlantic. What is important to note on that is that the, the Policy Center itself is a, is, a, is a recent institution, it's less than 10 years old, and it has grown with the Atlantic Dialogue, so there is a sort of nurturing process that has taken place and I think that is why it's interesting. So it's the spirit is fully embedded in the policy center and as well the spirit of Atlantic Dialogue is you know corresponds well to what is the policy center. So I think that's uh, that's quite special and it's the fact that uh, uh, participants come and stay for three days uh, at the same place together. Uh, it creates millions of interactions that are well beyond 
uh, what we can grasp or understand, but that's not very important. What is important is this myriad of connections uh, that creates a sort of uh, soul or spirit of, of the conference. So we are very happy that we all get together this year in, uh, in, in person in, in Marrakech for, for this edition and also would like to deeply thank uh, our community for having accepted to participate online for two editions with the very strong participation that we highly appreciate. So we, we come up with a theme every year um, that uh, brings together all of the different topics that we, that we discuss throughout that specific edition. Just to name a few of the themes that we've seen over the years, in 2013, we discussed Atlantic societies, growth, change and adaptation. In 2016, we looked at changing mental maps, strategies for an Atlantic in transition. In 2017, it was more about Africa. Um, and we, we looked at uh, Africa in the Atlantic, time for action. And most recently in 2019, um, we looked at the South in the time of turmoil. And of course we had our two online editions in 2020 and 2021 um, addressing uh, an Atlantic in recovery um, following the pandemic. Um, how do we come about with these themes every year? What is the process that goes into? Well, I think, as I said earlier on, the, the conference is the sort of pinnacle of a process. So there's an ongoing uh, process of research, discussions, analytical debate with our, within the policy center, but also with, with our communities, with our partners. And let's not forget that every year since uh, we have been producing uh, an annual report, which is called Atlantic Current, that sort of uh, have uh, received contributions from multiple authors from, the Atl from our community, which is also part of this thinking process. Um, what is important are also the values that, carries, th that we carry at the Atlantic Dialogue and that we all believe in, which is fact-based analysis, empirical work, uh, semi-academic uh, and policy making uh, uh, works and, and research which make it quite special and the, and, the, uh, and the, the capacity of all the participants to navigate between civil society, academia and policy making uh, which is also one of the features of, of, the, of, the, of the policy center. This year's edition will focus on the theme cooperation in a mutating world, opportunities of the wider Atlantic. Over the past couple of years, and since our last in-person edition in 2019, many things have happened, namely a pandemic and the resurgence of war in Europe, just to name a few. Um, we have witnessed cracks in multilateralism, rising protectionism, disruption of global value chains, and rising inflation and food insecurity. What are we focus on, focusing on in this year's edition of the conference and why? Well, this is uh, what we call the poly crisis, uh, after a word uh, coined by uh, Edgar Moha. Uh, I think you named it. There's many, you know, food, energy, and important structural transformation, as well as short term pressure on government and societies to, uh, to manage uh, complex pressures on food prices, energy prices, uh, uh, macroeconomic policies, inflation. So I think we meet at a time where the sequence succession of, of challenges to public policy making is, uh, is quite, quite important. And uh, this is why we think that, you know, when times are difficult, we need to talk more, we need to over communicate, we need to find solutions together. Uh, and that is exactly what we're going to do. Thank you, Mr. Karim Nainawi, for providing us with more details about the identity and the heart of the Atlantic Dialogues, and also explaining um, how linked it is with the identity and heart of the Policy Center for the New South. Um, the Atlantic Dialogues is a conference and a community that has a strong vision, foundation, and purpose, as you were saying. Um, thank you all for tuning in. Um, and see you in Marrakesh for the 2022 edition of the Atlantic Dialogues Conference. For those who will not be able to join us, please tune in on the Policy Center for the New South's website and on the Atlantic Dialogues web website at atlanticdialogues.org. Thank you.